What is freedom? Before we can really dig into that and what that really means, right now, as I'm 40 years old, we gotta go back. We gotta go back to the beginning, the origin of where it all started. See, when we speak about freedom, most of the time, we're thinking about what's behind me. Our men and women of service who have, have paid the ultimate sacrifice to, to provide us and maintain the freedoms that we have here in the United States. And although that's a beautiful thing and that's an amazing thing to be grateful for, and that's definitely something uh, that we take for granted at times, but it's also a privilege to be able to be in this country. But that's not the freedom we're talking about here today. I'm here back home in Vine, New Jersey, where it all started for me to go back to where my freedom journey started. And just like the men and women behind me, they started a journey to protect and serve our country. I started a journey to build building blocks for my future, for my family, also in my mental, my physical, and my spiritual. Come along for the ride. Vining was more than just, you know, my old stomping grounds where I, where I grew up and where I came from. Uh, what you see behind me is, is the epicenter of what is Vining. It's our downtown area. Being right here on Landis Avenue um, brings back some memories for me. I remember growing up and me and my brothers walking up and down the street, going to the bodegas, going to the little stores. And, and I remember as we're walking, I never really even told anybody this. I never even told my wife this, but being here reminds me that uh, walking down the streets, I've always wanted my names on one of these signs. And I spent a lot of time uh, with parades and uh, with my brothers and walking up and down Landis Avenue and then looking at all the businesses. And, and then also seeing like murals and art. I'm an arts guy. I remember as a kid, looking at all these storefronts and one day I wanted to have one of these storefronts. I wanted to have one of my businesses, whatever it was. I, didn't, I wasn't even sure at that time what that was gonna be, uh, what it looked like, but I wanted to have a business on this storefront. And I think at, at an early age, it created an idea within me that I could be anything I wanna be. I could be an entrepreneur, I could be impacting people. So at an early age, I've always wanted to have my name on one of these signs, on one of these stores, as you see, as the cars are riding by me, that, that I can influence a population, I can influence people. At an early age, I cared so much about people, I did whatever it took, whether it was to make them happy. I think a, a lot of times I get a lot in trouble because I was wanting to make people happy and whatever it took, make them smile and just have some joy in life because I always knew that there was a, something different. We didn't have to be sad and sorrow all the time. But again, to my detriment, I made people laugh and joked around where I got in trouble in school, but it never deterred me from the fact that one day I wanted my name on one of these buildings uh, and walking down the street, going from uh, our house to a friend's house, I've always dreamt of having my own business with my name on one of those signs. So being here on Landis Avenue is more than just walking up and down the street for me, more than just visiting old stores. It's revisiting the memory that I have of where it started of me wanting to be an entrepreneur and also impact and have an influence on people at an early young age. So as we dig into freedom, where we're at right now is where I took a lot of time growing up. Uh, I lived in other places throughout the city growing up, but this place right here is where I had the most growth and where I, I became into kind of the foundation of who I am now. And we're here on Victory Avenue. Uh, the house behind me is where I grew up most of my life here. And, and I'll tell you what, as we go through this series, you're gonna see and we're gonna talk about a lot of things that I had to come to grips with, a lot of things that I had to change, and a lot of things that I knew inside of me that was already good, I grew on. Um, so as we talk about dreaming, you know, like I told you before on Landis Avenue, I dreamed about having my name on those signs. And here in, on Victory Avenue, I had a good friends, uh, John Black, I had, you know, uh, 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 Andy, Andy, I had Josh, my best friend Joshua, right next to us here is, is his old house, which now is some kind of financial building. But I remember sitting in, that, in, in the house, my buddy Josh passed away when he was 19. And, and it was devastating for me because it was my best friend. Um, we used to play, we used to play football in the, in the field across the street when it snowed and what have you. We used to run up and down, run up and down the street here as, as kids and, and play hockey in, in, in the street. Yes, I played hockey, roller hockey, but you know, I didn't know how to skate, so I ran instead of roller. Uh, but anyway, so we had a great time in this neighborhood. I had a great environment around me with, from my parents to my friends' parents that were extended family uh, to, to you know, people that were in the neighborhood. We got together and the group of friends that we had here helped me 
reestablish who I am and who I was. Dreaming, that's what it comes down to. In this house, whether it was upstairs, whether it was my new room downstairs, friends coming over, we dreamed big dreams. Me and my brothers had a Christian rap group after I got saved and, and we had a Christian rap group and we dreamed about going to other churches and, and ministering and we did it. And we had to believe that we can do it. We had to believe in our calling and we did that. But more so, let's talk about, let's talk about who I am and where, where I grew in this freedom from here. So freedom started by me dreaming. And then I believed in my dream and I stayed in my dream. And then I, then I counted the cost of my dream and then I redid it all over again and reevaluated. So I always wanted to go to college and play football. I had a lot of naysayers that tell me I couldn't do this and do that. I've always wanted to be in video production. I had a lot of people say I couldn't do it. But it was here in this street, in this stages where I believed in myself. I believed in my dream. My girlfriend, which is my wife now, believed in me and stayed the course and did not waver in my dreams. And in that, I've always lived a life of freedom because I was confident in who I was because I had the people connected to me that stayed the course and stayed connected to me. And then spiritually, I was able to stay connected to family members uh, and, and people within the church that allowed me to stay connected to the cross. So as I look back and reminisce on, on the things I've been through up and down the street and my friend passing away and being involved with the people in this community, it brings me back to those, those, those moments where it was tough, where I was a knucklehead. I was causing trouble. I was you know, not doing the right things. And in days where I had to walk, it's freezing right now, it's cold. I had to walk to the, all the way to the end of the street to the bus stop and wait on the bus. And all I could do sometimes is think as I walk, am I doing the right things? Am I being the right person? Am I reflecting my parents the way I should be? Um, and as I became a believer, am I reflecting Christ as I should be? Um, so a lot of these things growing up on this street helped build the building blocks of me being free in my mind, free in my spirit, and free you know, in my physical. I used to run from here all the way to my wife's house, five miles you know, from here. I used to train right here on the streets. I used to run up and sprint up and down these streets. I used to play football right across the street uh, when we uh, played football with my friends. This had a lot to do with my foundation and my confidence for me to be able to dream big. This is Victory Avenue.